Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, yes. I've been a beginner at Hatha Yoga since 1974. <laughs> I've been writing and speaking about leadership since 1994. And not too long ago, something happened to me where I saw the two things that I love coming together. I realized that yoga and leadership are extremely similar. So I came up with this new idea for a workshop that I'm going to be offering. And it's about leadership and yoga, where you can learn to improve your strength and your flexibility for both your mind, your body, and your career. So what I'd like to do today is, I'm practicing this because we're the first, the first workshop is the end of August, so I'm practicing little parts of it. I'd like to offer you one leadership and yoga principle today, and that is stability before mobility. Hmm. I first saw the combination of leadership and yoga a long time ago. I was helping a man prepare a speech. He was a corporate executive, and he was working on the speech. It was weak. He was you know, just soft. It didn't have any oomph. And so I got the idea. I, and had him stand up and go into the warrior pose and then work on the talk. And if you, know, if you know, how many of you have ever done yoga or taken a yoga class? Oh, I'm so glad to be in California. <laughs> 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 but the warrior pose is like, basically it's like this. You know, there's parts stronger than that, but that's the main thing. So I had him stand there and practice, and he got better, but it still wasn't quite there, and I was frustrated. And I said, God gave you that big body. Use it to serve. And something happened to him. It did kind of, the pieces fell into place a little bit. This, this, and he went home pleased with what he was prepared to give this speech. But the next day, his wife called me. And she said, what did you do to him? And I was like, I don't know. What are you talking about? She said, he came home transformed. And she, and she explained that all his life he had been <clears throat> afraid that a lot of people are afraid of big black men. And she said his whole life he tried to make himself look smaller. And when you said God gave you that big body, use it to serve, he suddenly saw himself in a whole new way. So the, the idea of leadership and yoga is stability before mobility. He had to know who he was before he could reach out and share his wisdom with the world. So what I want all of you right now to do is stand up. And, put your, and you're going to point your right hand towards me with, the, with that hand down, connecting you to the earth. And your, and your left hand back, straight back, pointed down, connecting, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, up, connecting to the heavens. No. And just feel solid. I'd like you to pull your shoulders in, and at the same time, reach out, pull your stomach in, and w stand in that position while I tell you some of the benefits of the warrior pose. It increases focus. It improves your balance. It opens the heart. It, it works on your shoulders, your legs, your neck, and your back. Do you think that would be good for you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people, a lot of people think that uh, to become a warrior at work, they have to get a Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hands right, Bert. <laughs> a lot of people think that to be a warrior, you you need maybe a Harvard MBA. Can I say maybe all you need is a warrior pose. Yeah. Okay, sit down. I need Gatorade. Does anyone know what hatha means? You know, the Sanskrit word is hatha yoga. Not you, Mia. <laughs> She's a yoga teacher. Okay, yoga means union. And hatha, ha means sun, and tha means moon. So it's about uniting those parts of us becoming who you really are. He couldn't really be successful until he got really stable with who he actually was. 
And he went on to become the uh, CEO of a huge international organization that was, that was stretched all over the world. And it, Hatha Yoga is actually part of balance, is about balancing these opposite parts of ourselves. Pain, pleasure, good, bad, smart, ignorant. You know, all these parts of ourselves, we have to be included. You have to pull them all in. If you want to sail, uh, Tammy, I know you do a lot of sailing. If you want to sail, like from here to there, you can't go straight. It's zigzag. And a lot of people that are in leadership positions think they can, they, they can only get the positive feedback, or they can only have the big goal. You, it doesn't work that way. Everything has two, two sides to it. President Kennedy said, the only way to judge yourself as a leader is by the amount of honest feedback that you can take. Mm -hmm. If someone comes to you and say, doesn't like what you're doing, if you start pushing back at them instead of taking that, that you know, you're, you're not going to grow. You're not going to be able to move forward. Do you know what makes a river flow forward? Does anyone know why a river flows forward? The angle. What? The angle. The angle. Gravity. Gravity. Air current. Current. What did you say? Air current. Air currents. Yeah. Air, Air currents. Current. Air, Air current. Air current. The current. No. You know what makes a river flow Blocks. forward? The banks. <laughs> if you take away one bank, that river goes nowhere. So as a leader, you have to be able to take pushback. You have to be able to take both, you have to have both sides connected. I used to be a reporter for CBS News, covering, I did a lot of coverage of the music industry when it had a lot of money and a lot of success. And every time they would release a new record, they'd invite us to listen, we'd hear this new song, we'd play. If everyone liked it, they would not release the record. I thought that was so weird at first, but they only they would release it if most people liked it and a few people hated it, because it was the two banks. That's how it could go forward. Recently, uh, the ACLU has had historically about four hundred thousand members, like forever. The membership has gone up and down around four hundred thousand forever. But in the last six months, their membership has gone to 6.2 million. Do you know why? A lot of pushback from President Trump. When they started getting this people opposing it, they started growing. So <coughs> if you want to be a leader, remember that principle. Stability before mobility. You have to know who you are. You have to accept all the parts of yourself. You have to be willing to be, be stable enough to take the blows. If you step up to take a leadership role, for sure you're going to be shot down. Sorry, Lisa. But <laughs> <laughs> so it's stability before mobility. So I'm giving this first workshop on this. August 27th. We're doing a lot of intro programs in between. Next week at WeWork, tomorrow at a yoga studio in Santa Monica. I'll send out an email blast to let everybody know if you're interested in this. But we offer a lot of leadership and yoga principles. But today you learned one. And what was it? Stability before mobility. Stability before mobility. Stability before mobility.